This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Larry Frent, pastor of St. Paul the Apostle Church in New Middletown and canonical pastor of Holy Rosary Church in Lowellville. I'm Lou Jack Hay from St. Brendan Parish, Youngstown. And as we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Dr. Bing Domingo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our readings today encourage us to remember God's kind-hearted, tough love is worth the struggle. We place our trust in him. Lord Jesus, master of our lives, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, truly our strength, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, be with us always, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, you we, we bless, bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God 
with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God, he has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. What should we do when we're exhausted, frightened, dispirited? What should we do during those times? The prophet Elijah was dealing with this in today's first reading. A wicked queen by the name of Jezebel was hunting for him, wanting to kill him, all because Elijah had done God's work and she had turned against God. There are some very exciting stories leading to today's reading and following it in the first book of Kings. If you get the chance, read the first book of Kings chapters 18 and 19. How did Elijah react to such a troubling situation? The story features prayers of a broken man. We heard him cry out, Take my life, O Lord. He wanted an end to his misery. He wanted relief from his sufferings. And like many people who are depressed, he wanted to sleep. Pay very close attention to what God did next. God did not take Elijah's life. Rather, he sent an angel with food and drink. And we heard in the story how Elijah was reluctant to respond at first, but eventually he gets up. The angel told Elijah, eat and drink, or the journey will be too long. Frightened, exhausted, dispirited. It happened to Elijah it can happen to any one of us, even if we don't have a Queen Jezebel chasing after us. Things and people in life can weigh us down. Things and people in life can threaten to break our spirits. How do we respond, regardless of whose fault it is? How should we respond? There are some simple yet very powerful lessons in today's readings that we are to allow the Lord to feed and strengthen us. And this is where our faith comes in. It is not always easy to respond to God. 
We heard how Elijah had trouble with that at first, but somewhere deep within us, we can find that grace that God gives, that grace that leads us to believe that God promised to be with us even during our very worst times. In the gospel today, Jesus told the people around him, don't keep on complaining, accept his food. It's a long journey ahead. It's a journey to eternal life. It's a journey that begins here and now, and we need God's nourishment. Some people had great difficulty recognizing that Jesus was the bread of life, the living bread. But remember, God's deliberate kindness shows this again and again and again. Maybe you and I are not in the kind of situation of desperation that Elijah was, but always keep in mind, somewhere, somebody is. Think about the lesson from today's second reading. We're told to be imitators of God, live in God's love. Such basic tenets of our faith. Remember this, and we might discover that we are the angel that God sends to someone in need. Pray about this. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We present our petitions for the church that we may ever be a source of nourishment to the hungry, hope to the discouraged, and faith to those in despair, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in offices of power that they may never lose sight of the powerless and their needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have become bitter, furious, or angry, that by the grace of the Holy Spirit, these emotions may be overcome, by acts of compassion and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who suffer from summer's extreme temperatures and humidity, especially those who cannot afford air conditioning, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who assist the neediest among us, especially those who are poor, elderly, ill, or disabled, that the grace of God may be known through their work, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, look with kindness on the prayers of your people, for we pray in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of, God of hosts, hosts, heaven, heaven and, earth and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Paul, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and George our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done. Be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be with you. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. The Catholic Diocese of Youngstown was established on May 15, 1943. 2018 marks the 75th anniversary of the diocese. There are six counties which make up the Diocese of Youngstown. Astabula, Columbiana, Mahoning, Portage, Stark, and Trumbull. There are five other dioceses in the state of Ohio, Cincinnati being the oldest, Cleveland, Youngstown's mother diocese, Columbus, Steubenville, and Toledo. Youngstown is the smallest in terms of area, and the second smallest in terms of population. Yet it has a third highest percentage of people identifying themselves as Catholics. Congratulations, Catholic Diocese, for celebrating 75 years with pride in the past and faith in the future.